another benefit, and studies show that how businesses can gain out of more energy efficient investment. Studies have shown, at least over the last 10 to 12 years, time and time again, that when a particular business makes investments which are geared towards promoting energy efficiency, they're viewed as environment friendly. And as they're viewed as that, investors, there are many out there, investors would be more inclined to invest in your companies. So more energy efficient, more environment friendly businesses would be having an easier time to attract capital. That goodwill effect of energy efficiency investment frequently we lose sight of, but that is a substantial plus for such energy efficiency and investment in energy efficient projects. Now, still, the bottom line of all these remains the bottom line of the business. If we have to make costly energy efficient investment, whatever the state or federal government's incentive programs are out there, exactly how this investment can work out. How can we get the return out of that investment? And here, perhaps, we can be excited about conserving energy. Now I have to see that how this PowerPoint works. And incidentally, as I'm trying to figure that out, uh, I have to uh, give you only this one. Okay, uh, I have to uh, come up with a disclaimer. Unlike most academics, and you, you may have a sense about the academics that they will always come up with lots of slides and charts. I, I don't have that, and I don't do that. But last night, kind of for preparing for these remarks, when I was making some slides, my 14-year-old, who would be a high school uh, freshman, um, looked over my shoulder and said, what are you doing? I said, I was making some slides, so I told him that. He said, for this talk? I said, yes. He said, they look terrible. <laughs> so he threw out all the slides, and he made his own based on uh, the previous slides that I had. So the content is mine. The slides are his. So if you don't like the slides, it is all his fault. <laughs> and if the slides don't work well, then it is his fault, because he's the audiovisual guy uh, in the hotel. So let's see if it can go. As I said, that all I knew was how to change a light bulb. And one thing for sure, that in this environment, at least now, we can be, thanks to the new technology, we can be excited about energy conservation because it is as simple as changing a light bulb. Since I don't know about big things about billions of dollars of investment. So what I'll do, I'll come up with a simple example. Consider, for example, you are changing, just like me, you are changing in your business a light bulb, a 75 watt incandescent light bulb that we all have been using since our birth. Say so we do that. This is my son's handiwork, as you can see. So suppose we are replacing a 75 watt incandescent light bulb by what they call, do you all have seen those spirals? Those compact fluorescent light, the CFL bulbs? The equivalent light would be coming from a 20 watt CFL bulb. So suppose we do that. Now, based on an eight hour daily use, and a reasonable work here. The annual energy used by a 75 watt bulb works out to be, and I'm kind of underestimating here, is about 210 kilowatt hour. Now you know that the same light can be coming from that 20 watt spiral bulb, the CFL that you put in, and the annual energy used by an equivalent 20 watt CFL bulb would be only 56 kilowatt hour. So 
You can all do the math. And believe me, there won't be much math here. The annual energy savings is 154 kilowatt hour. What does that translate in terms of dollars? The annual cost savings based on a 10 cents per kilowatt hour rate would turn out to be $15.40 if you replace one 75 watt light bulb. Now, remember, the initial cost to buy that one CFL bulb, if you just bought one in the marketplace, that would have cost you about $5. So how long did it take for this investment, of that $5 investment that you made to pay back? The payback period is actually 0.324 of a year or less than four months. Anyone who has managed a business, anyone who has had any type of business dealings knows that's a good deal. That any time your payback period is less than one year, actually they call it less than 18 months, then you are actually looking at a good investment project. Now at this time you have every right to tell me that that example, however simple it is, it's ludicrous. We don't change one light bulb at a time. And so what happens if we have really large investment, and that will cost a lot of money. Now since, as I told you, that I'm not really that um, familiar with making millions and millions of dollars of investments, I will do what I do best. So I started out with one light bulb investment. Let me change that. How about changing 10 bulbs? Now, it turns out, as you can think about the math, that the cost of the 10 pack 20 watt CFL bulb is however little less. When you buy a 10 pack bulb, you can check it out, it is little less than $30. So I rounded it up to $30. However, the energy savings that you are having, that is exactly 10 times what you had from one light bulb. So the annual energy cost savings from 10 bulbs will turn out to be $154. So now, look at the payback period. It has shrunk. The payback period is now less than three months. So that is something curious. What it tells you that a larger investment in greater efficiency, 10 bulbs instead of one bulb, would be rewarded by a shorter payback period. And that is the beauty of this new technology, which we did not have even five, six years back. And you will be hearing more about new technologies. You would be hearing more about the new uh, retrofitting, how they would save thousands of dollars for businesses, and how that would make switching over to alternative energy sources like solar or wind all the more feasible for businesses. So now you can see that why we can be excited finally about saving energy. We may not be able to do a lot. We may not be, we may not be in a position to invest right away thousands and thousands of dollars for energy efficiency, but I believe we can. Thank you.